as I was saying, um, I realized the whole reason me and my mom got into the argument to begin with was I actually went over to her house. Um, I was going through a hard time with my boyfriend and there was a lot going on and I was lonely. So I went to my mom's house because in the midst of me having a hard time with my boyfriend, I was thinking about my dad and I grew up thinking my mom was a superwoman because she was the only person that I had. She took care of me. Um, but I realized when I got older, she abandoned me and I went to her house. I was crying. I went in her bed where her roommate who slept with her boyfriend was just chilling there. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that, but I went to her bed and I was crying and she said, what's wrong? And I said nothing because I knew I wasn't going to be able to express my feelings without exploding on her. So I told her nothing was wrong and she asked me again, what's wrong? And I said nothing. Well, she pushed me out of the bed and said, I'm not doing this tonight. So I I exploded on her. That was not when the whole incident happened. I told her, you know why I'm crying? It's because you abandoned me my whole life. And I'm just not realizing that. Um, and the thing about my mom is she was... With Louise, she's been violent with... Yeah, she was violent with multiple ex-boyfriends that I can remember. If you say something she doesn't like to hear, um, she'll she'll punch you. She'll literally punch you in the face. And mind you, I weigh 105 pounds, okay? My mom weighs twice that. And no, yeah, you're right. You don't get to choose your parents. And I, I've been telling my family lies, she means, which by that she meant Adderall, which if anyone wanted to know, Adderall for when I have stuff I have to get done. I haven't been able to find any in months because she buys them out. Um, so it's just really frustrating. She lied and told my family that I broke her ribs and all of this bull crap. That is not true. And um, it's just really frustrating to me to see because I really thought my mom was like so older and I realized um, she was never there for me and she still is not. She was never there for me. She did what a lot of people in my life like to do. She paid for stuff so that she could have a role in my life. She always paid for me to go on field trips, but she never came. She paid for me to play sports, but she never came to my games. She paid for me to go on spring break, but she was never the mom to take us. And it was pretty... It was pretty messed up. Yeah, I do stay away from my mom. I've been away from her since I was 16. I moved out. I've paid my own bills since then. And that's why I don't put up with any of this crap that people are talking about me. Because people don't know any of the story. I literally grew up by myself. I set my microwave on fire at 7 years old trying to cook chicken nuggets. Because in my 7 year old brain, I'm thinking, there's no way that this little microwave can cook stuff faster than the oven now it's a put it in the oven for 19 minutes and the microwave for two and a half but the logic didn't make sense to me so I put it in my microwave for 21 minutes and set my microwave on fire I was abandoned and that's the same reason why she cut Kinsley's hair because she doesn't want to deal with it she'll pay to get it done but she's not gonna do it she's not gonna do it and that's just kind of why I felt like I needed to make this live and address it because I'm getting a lot of comments from 40 year old ladies that sit at home and do whatever. I'm sorry your life is not going the way you want, but that does not give you the right to speak on something you do not know. You people get too wrapped up in reality TV and what you don't realize is I didn't pick to be on that TV show. Yeah, it might have been cool, but I was 12 years old when my mom did her first show and I didn't have a choice and actually whenever she did 90 day fiance I told her I didn't want to be a part of it because it's embarrassing and she threatened me with a, a car and paying my bills and taking me to do the stuff that I like to do she threatened me with that and uh, that's why I, I, I wasn't gonna speak on it but I actually just got a call from my lawyer today and uh, my mom is filing a restraining order on me. Not sure why because I don't care to see her literally ever again because she does me dirty like she does everyone else in her life. If you look at her Facebook page, you look at all the employees who work for her, they'll all tell you the same thing. 
they'll all tell you the same thing and that's why people are like oh why did you whatever i was literally i feel like sometimes my mom only had me so i could be her crutch i whenever her and her million boyfriends were breaking up and she had stuff going on at work I was the person who she would come home and cry to. An eight-year-old should not have to hear about how your boyfriend cheated on you and you're crying so hard that you run off the road. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, you use substance, all this stuff. No, I don't use substance. I smoke weed. I smoke weed because I don't have health insurance to afford my antidepressants. And if y'all have a problem with that, I mean, I just, you, you can't you can't win for losing but my mom is tarnishing my image and making me come out of character to deal with her everybody's saying why did you hit your mom not what the hell is wrong with her mom why did her mom put hands on her because that's not the first time it happened that's not the first time it happened that's like the millionth time if you say something she doesn't like to hear then it's it's over and i'm just really sick of getting the dms and getting all this stuff because it's wrong why do i tell my business because my mom told a false narrative of me my mother told a false narrative of me and i have people coming at me sideways like like i'm a mother fighter i'm not a mother fighter i never wanted to fight my mom i never wanted to fight my mom but at the end of the day I've never felt one ounce of respect from my mother. I signed my own report cards because she couldn't be bothered. And I'm getting all this crap from people telling me who I am, who don't know me, who have never met me. So that's why I'm telling my business because she has made it public. She's put my whole life on everything and it's it's really it's really irritating. I don't I don't like the narrative that people are thinking of me. I don't like it at all because that's not me. I'm a good person. I'm a strong person. I'm a person who raised myself and I don't, I just don't appreciate. I'm just letting all of these hoes know that are messaging me that these little stay at home moms that are messaging me, telling me about myself, that that's not who I am. That's not who I am. And you guys have literally got me so screwed up messaging me, commenting me, telling me if I was your child, you would have slapped me, all this stuff. Like, it's fucked up. You guys don't know anything behind the scenes. You saw 30 minutes of my entire life and think you have the right to speak on me. And I know I don't have to explain this to anyone, but... It's really hurtful. I lost a lot of people this year. I lost a lot of family this year um, for various reasons. And I just got a call from my lawyer today where I was supposed to have a case, a a court on Thursday to renegotiate my terms of bond. I didn't ask for that. My mom, my mom called the solicitor and said she does not want to talk to me again. I can't speak to my sister because of my mother. I can't speak to my 10-year-old sister because of my mom. So that's why I'm on here on live explaining to strangers about my life because that's the position she put me in. So, you know, judge me if you want. But when you do, remember that you don't know me. You do not know me. So just remember that. And that's all I have to say. I'm going to get my toes done because I deserve it. And that's really it. I just wanted to put that out there that I'm not... I, I'm accepting responsibility for what I did. That was wrong, okay? That was wrong of me to do. But I'm accepting responsibility. And I did that. I'm not saying I didn't do that, but... I mean, at at what point, you know, just because she's funny on TV, that is not who she is. And it's very frustrating. I don't like hearing people and I never cry on social media. I think that's so gay. But but you guys are literally tearing my character apart. Every day I'm getting DMs. Every day I'm getting tagged and stuff saying lies about me. And... 
it wasn't just Louise. It's my whole life. I used to hide under my bed while my mom screamed and fought with her boyfriends when I was little. And it's just wrong that people think they have the right to speak on me because they don't know. They don't know. And I just don't like that. But I'm at the nail salon. I'm going to get, um, yeah, I know, that's so gay. That's my catchphrase. I'm not homophobic. Trust me. I just think it's a good way to describe things. Um, and the thing is, I still want to have a relationship with my mom, but every time I talk to anyone, I'm hearing new stuff she said about me. Um, and she's telling, she said I broke her ribs. I did all this stuff. You're telling me this fist, this literally my wrist, you see how tiny this is? It's not true. It's not true. Believe what you want, but but keep your negative energy. Comment under the post. Don't message me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because it's not true. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry for crying, but that's just how I feel today. That's just, I've had a rough day, and that was just kind of the icing on the cake, is getting all of this. What about Kinsley? No, I can't wait. No, about Kinsley, I can't see her, because when I went and saw her with her dad, um, my mom called the cops. So, I'm not allowed to see my little sister, who's growing up the same exact way I did. And it's frustrating because I don't want her to do that. I love her. She needs more help than I needed. And yeah. So thanks, guys. But I'm at the nail salon. I'm really going to go inside for real this time.